Thanks Bright Sellers for sponsoring this video. And here we have the star of today's show. To be specific, it is a three bone rib roast. This is an amazing piece of meat. But today we're going to be doing something unthinkable. Not only am I going to be dry aging in maple syrup, but I'm going to be doing it for a very long time. I'm talking about 169 days. This is something I've never done before. And hopefully it's going to be one of the best experience of my life. Let's find out right now. Because the first thing I needed to do was to split this thing in half. We need to have one as a control. This is really going to let me know if the maple syrup is going to make any differences or not. As you can see, once I was done splitting them open, I have two beautiful pieces of beef. And like I said, one is going to be the control, which is completely dry aged by itself. For that, I just put it on a cooling rack and let it sit. But on the second one, oh man, you already know what's about to happen. Now it was extremely important to find the right maple syrup. And as you can see, this is the one. I wanted to use 100% maple syrup. Now the big question is, how will this interact with meat? Because refined sugar just does something really weird to the meat. I've learned that through my Nutella dry aging experiment. However, maple syrup is 100% natural, so maybe this is going to be fantastic. But now that we got our maple syrup ready, it was time to start. The first thing I needed to do was to put a little bit of parchment paper underneath. Right after my beef went right on top, I started to pour the maple syrup. I'm talking about really pouring the whole thing. And it quickly got super messy because it was starting to run out. So I had to transfer it to a baking sheet so that it stops from happening. And now now that the borders are not gonna let me overflow, I went to town, adding even more maple syrup, ensuring that the whole thing was fully covered with it. Right off the bat, I had one concern. That was because the maple syrup is not that thick. So as you can see, I try to flip the whole thing so that all edges are perfectly covered with it. But once everything was done, into my dry ager it went. First our control, which has nothing on it, and then of course the maple syrup. Now the only thing left to do is to let it rest for a total of 169 days. Once the time was up, I took it out and look, this is what I was left with. 169 days is a lot of days. And as you can see that the maple syrup and the dry aging time destroyed this thing. It looks like it was made in Mars. And it looks to me like even without opening it, the maple syrup really penetrated in there. Take a look at the bottom part. This thing really went inside deep. And the smell is not something I was expecting. It's just wonderful. It smells like freshly baked pastry. This is looking good, real good. But the next thing to do was to remove all of the pellicles. That is the crust that is formed whenever you dry age in steaks. And to my surprise, this thing actually feels nice and soft. For 169 days, I was not expecting that to be this way. As I was starting to carve this thing, even more maple syrup came out of it. This thing really penetrated deeply in there. But like I always say, one of the most important thing whenever you dry aging anything is not to be cheap. And since this has never been done before, we really gotta dig in deep. I went ahead and carved it even more, as once I was done, this is what I was left with. 169 days maple syrup dry aged steak. That is something that has never done before. And I'm really curious to find out how it's gonna taste. As you can see, everything started off with a seven pounds roast. Now we are only left with an eight ounce steak. This is a huge loss, so it better taste real good. For comparison, take a look at the real dry aged one. This one looks like it was mummified. You see the deep crevices on the steak? This thing got really, really dry. And if you take a closer look, you can even see a little bit of white mold. I have no idea what to expect. But again, if we don't try, it, we'll never know. So I went ahead and started the same exact process as the previous one. First removing the bones, then I went ahead to the edges. Now the oxidation is deep on this one. And unlike the maple syrup, this one is super tough. And removing the pellicles was not easy either. Because once I was done, take a look. This is 169 days dry aged steak. 100% completely oxidized. Now one of the things that I really got surprised one was the smell. It was like charcuterie or a fine salami. Lamy. I've never experienced anything like this before. But the big question is, how is this going to taste? Especially when I put both side by side. Take a look. The most interesting thing to me is that the maple syrup really preserved that pinkness. But on the real dry aged one, it's completely gone. Hopefully, it's going to taste a lot better than it looks. Now, the next thing I needed to do was to get them seasoned. For that, I kept it real simple. A little bit of salt followed by freshly ground black pepper and garlic powder. As now, the only thing left was to go ahead and cook them. First, I'll be putting a nice beautiful sear. Once that's done, I'll be cooking them in indirect heat until I reach an internal temperature of 135 degrees Fahrenheit. And for that, I'll be using my wireless thermometers. As now I say, it is enough talking and it is time to grill them. So let's do it.
What do you guys think? Does that look good or what? But before trying it, I want to thank today's sponsor, Bright Sellers. You know what goes amazing with a good steak? A great wine. And with Bright Sellers, I can complement all of my meals with an amazing wine. Here's how easy it is. I take a seven question quiz and Bright Sellers knows exactly which wine to send me from a collection of diverse wines from around the world. The package comes straight to your door in a recyclable packaging so you can forget the hassle of going to the store. Check out my box. I get my wines with a cool card that tells me all about my specific wines, like the best serving temperature and even what it would be paired with best, like this humdrum shark with hints of apple, citrus, and tropical fruit. They have an awesome concierge team who always helps with any questions about wine, any subscription problems like pausing your subscription, or changes in shipping address. Bright Sellers recently began offering its members access to both low alcohol wines and sparkling wines. It is the perfect summer night's drink. Thank you again to Bright Sellers for giving my followers a limited time offer of 50% off their first six bottle box. Click the link in the description to get started. Mm, this one's so good. Take care, everybody. Now back to the video. All right, everybody. Here we got our beautiful steaks. Jalen, what do you guys think, huh? I think we got one good, beautiful steak. <laughs> I thought this was Google Foods, not, not baby foods. <laughs> Damn. Damn. <laughs> they, they are kind of tiny. Leo's getting fed up with the small dishes, Google. Where's the side dish? Sometimes you got to be without the side dish because the Damn. steak is so special. That's exactly what's happening here today. It doesn't look that special. Oh, I know, right? Now, especially this one right here. I know it looks fully overcooked, everybody, but it was cooked to 135 degrees Fahrenheit. That don't look 135. I know, right? Damn. Now, here's the most interesting part of this experiment. This was a full roast. Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> a roast, huh? Uh, you know what's oh, happening. I know what time it is. I saw it as soon as you told me that this one was 135. Mm, oh, you already know? I, yeah, I think so. So we can all understand this is a dry age experiment. Let me know how it tastes. Sounds like a plan? For that to be that tiny, I don't even want to know how many days you left this thing out. <laughs> don't worry about it. That's not important. Enough talking. Let's give this a go. Go for it, guys. Grab it. Ah, and we're starting there? Damn, this thing tough. <laughs> Normally for a Google steak, you just put the fork in a little bit and it does the work. Look at this. <laughs> now here's the interesting part. This is the control. Are you guys ready? What? <laughs> Nice. What does it smell like, Leah? It smells actually pretty good, but <laughs> it looks like pork. It does. That's exactly what I was thinking. It looks like freaking pork. Enough talking. Let's give this a go. You guys ready? All right. Enough talking. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Damn. Mm. I feel like I fell asleep when I ate that steak and I woke up in funk town. <laughs> yeah, so I'm, I'm very big on texture. That texture was disgusting. <laughs> I will say this, it does not taste like a steak. It's not juicy. No. I needed juice and there was no juice. Mm -hmm. It's not nice. <laughs> it's not nice, guys. It's not nice. I agree 100%. That was not a pleasant experience. It just doesn't taste like steak. I will agree with you that it doesn't taste like steak, but I didn't think the flavor was terrible. It was just extremely salty. We all agree it's not a very nice steak. No. Wouldn't recommend for you to try that. Highly recommend. Don't do that one. <laughs> so how about this one here? I am excited. Looks good. I think that's the good one. Let's give it a go. Let's see. This one smells better. Ooh, it smells nice. It smells more fresh. <laughs> it has some pinkness. It's a little bit more tender. All right, give me your honest opinion on this one. You guys ready? Enough talking. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Oh, that's sweet. Mmm, it is sweet. As you chew, it gets sweeter. Mm -hmm. I like it. <laughs> this one is way better. Head and shoulders better than the last one and more tender. Way more tender, way more juicy. It's edible. The other one is not that edible. Boom. <laughs> Going twice. I'm very fascinated by the fact that when you actually take a bite of it, you don't taste sweetness. You have You're to like keep chewing, and then as you chew, it's like that sweetness flows from the steak juices itself. Here's what I will say, everybody. This is extremely surprising to me. I was not expecting these results. Now, believe it or not, both of these steaks were dry aged for the same exact amount of time. Wow. Both of them for 169 days. Oh my God. Why 169? Use your imagination why, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Google, all right. That's how long it was dry aged for. Now, here's the deal. This one here was the control, believe it or not. Extremely dry. I thought it was going to be great. It was disgusting. Yeah, it didn't taste like a steak. It was more like pork. It was a good pork. <laughs> <laughs> it was a good pork. Now, this one right here, to celebrate with all my Canadian friends, maple syrup. Oh my God, that's awesome. Now, here's the thing. Do I recommend you going for 169 days? No, absolutely not. Maybe less. But what I did learn from this cook is that for some odd reason, Maple syrup 
preserve the steak. Usually, sweetness gets bad with steak, but not maple syrup. Sometimes you get busy, everybody, and certain things happen because you forget. This one, I'll be honest for you, I was planning on 35 days. You got busy for 139 more days? Correct. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, it could have been taken out in 150 days, but I said 69 just sound better. <laughs> <laughs> this steak tastes better than the real dry age one for the very first time. That's, yeah. That that's never happened. That's pretty crazy that it looked so much better too. Does pineapple have a new challenger? Mm, I don't know, maybe. Pineapple is good for tenderizing, but maple might be good for dry aging. That's why I love to experiment, everybody. You always learn something new. Anyway, guys, these are the results. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy it, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, be sure to subscribe for future videos. Remember, if you are interested in anything I use, everything is always on the description down below. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you guys on the next one. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.